Hey everybody, welcome back. Movie review time, where we talk about a movie we just saw, and we just saw... Uh, yeah, I don't have a joke. Bombshell! <laughs> I was reaching for a joke. I was like, Cannonball Run? I was gonna do that whole thing again, but it just didn't. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, alright. So anyways, this is gonna be our no-spoiler discussion about this movie that we're a little bit late to, but it's Oscar season. We're getting into our Oscar watch. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. And um, <clears throat> that's why you're getting a lot of movie reviews this week. And even more on my Patreon. But uh, we're going to do no spoilers, so if we say a spoiler, we will cut it out. And uh, you don't have to worry about spoilers. And of course, we will do a no spoiler review, which will be out a little bit later tomorrow, today, whenever you're seeing this, um, where we can talk more specifically. We don't consider ourselves film critics, so we're not really movie reviewers. We're just people that like to talk about movies, so we're geeking out about what we did and didn't like. Um, you can get more of that by checking out the Stardust app or checking out my Patreon, looking up the Eric Butts, using links in the description below. Be careful if you are avoiding spoilers. Um, of staying out of the comments. Sometimes people just get excited, overzealous, and accidentally spoil things. It's like, oh my god, did you see the thing? And then there are going to be the people that it's like, it's based on a true story. How do I spoil it? Well, not everybody knows the true story. Sometimes people see the movie and then go learn the rest of the story. Like, actually, I'm probably going to go watch some videos plus, after this. I, not exactly a spoiler, but they actually do make a point of saying in the very beginning of the movie that they created some... Some elements. Uh, some okay. elements. That's not a spoiler. You're right. You always make me nervous when you say, it's not exactly a spoiler. I'm like, Eep. but you know, you're absolutely right. It's not. Good job. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, because like, I, you know, I took some shit um, when the trailer first came out. The first teaser was just the scene of the three ladies in the elevator. Mm -hmm. And I was I like, that's, that. that's a cool scene, but I don't know anything about the story. So I have no idea what they're trying to sell me on. And people were giving me shit about it. like, how don't you know? And I'm like, because unfortunately this is America at, then in 2019, and there were so goddamn many stories coming out at the same time, it was hard to keep track of all of them. So True. I kind of missed this one. Um, anyways, Technically, you know. Technically, all this was happening in 2016. Oh, well, yeah, okay, fair enough. But, uh, um, but you know what I'm just saying. I mean, that, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not saying that and it's... And so much <laughs> shit has happened since then. Yeah, so you I, can't... I, you do find yourself occasionally going like, oh, yeah, that was a thing. Oh, yeah, that was just like last year. <laughs> right, yeah. Like in 2007. Oh, God, that's 13 years ago. Anyways, no, sorry. It's, that's totally random. Something else. Okay. Um, oh, already just a re realization of how long ago the 2000s were at this point. That being said, let's actually talk about Bombshell. Um, fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Great movie. We I weren't... enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Yeah, I mean, it was honest. really engaging. I like the way it was put together. Mm -hmm. The performances were fantastic. We'll talk more about all that. Um, we did want to see this when it initially came out. I think it was one we even had tickets for, and then whatever came up and we had to cancel, mm -hmm. um, which is some of these Oscar movies, that's what's just happening with us, but we're finally getting to them. And, of course, it looks like this will be the last week. This is in theaters around here, which is why it's like four movies in a week. Oh, man. He's trying to kill me. I mean, even it's four four movies in a theater in a week is even difficult for me, uh, <laughs> unless it's Star Wars. Well, yeah, but that's so, that's just because that's pure fucking fun. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyway, so uh, Bombshell um, again, it's got some nominations. I didn't look at all of them. Um, I know it's makeup. I know Charlize Theron for best actress, and I've only seen her performance of the five so far. But mm -hmm. she's gonna be tough to beat. And then uh, Margot uh, Robbie is best supporting, mm -hmm. and I've seen that against Scarlett and, Johansson and, and Jojo Rabbit. I, I think I'm they, they learned a lesson from last year. It's like, don't put two of your lead actors or actresses in competi direct competition for one of the categories because you'll just end up blaming the vote and somebody else will win. Yeah, I'm looking at you, uh, not the lobster. What was it? Same director. Uh, Oh, the one God. with the queen and the... Con and the favorite. The favorite. The favorite, Thank yes. God, I, I know, like, it just took me a minute to get so there. Hard. But we got there, we got there. Yeah, that's a good point. And I was also thinking of how the best picture we talked about in the other video was split last year because of uh, half the people voting for Bohemian Rhapsody, half voting for A Star Wars Born, so mm -hmm. then somehow Green Book wins. Which yeah. was a very good movie, but of the nine movies last year, that was easily the weakest. Wait, w was that also the Call Me By Your Near Year Name? No, no, that, that was, was the year, okay. at least then, yeah. the year before. Then that was also the weakest. Um, now, I'm just running through here just real quick to make sure if we got any other... Um, now, I'm going to say... Nominations. Um, as far as makeup goes, the, I think they did a good job on the woman. Uh, I don't, uh, which, uh, well, yeah, especially Charlize. I yeah. thought they just nailed hers. But yeah, go ahead yeah. and tell this part while I'm looking. Then. But, that's, uh, that's, yeah. John, John Lithgow as, as Ailes. Now... I would have been probably fine with his makeup, and up until, very early on, they show you pictures of the actual ales, and I'm sitting here going like, 
Those two look nothing alike. Yeah, I definitely think this is one of those um, cases of they just went more for unique performance and good performance instead yeah. of... And, and well, here's the other thing, though. It's also because I have no idea what the hell Ailes sounds like in real life or, you know, acts like in real life. Because there's not a whole lot of footage of him. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, compared to, you know, other people, you know, high-profile people. Um... So, like I said, I don't really know what to expect, so I just felt like it was John Lithgow in really old man makeup. Yeah, and again, yeah, I mean, old man makeup. Well, I mean, and, I do think his makeup was good, but I do I do agree that he did not look I, I, like I, the actual Ailes, yeah, the way a lot was, of other people looked it, it like who they like were. It was like last year with Chaney, where you're like, oh my god, that's Chaney. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just realizing, by the way, my um, looking on the Google list of all the nominations is uh -huh. not showing me all the nominations. So that's why I had to, because it doesn't have makeup. Um, so that's why I had to jump to the Oscar site just real fast, which makes me also wonder what else I've been missing. Uh -oh. And hopefully I don't need to update my list with more movies oh, that Jesus. I need to see. I started watching the documentaries last night. But um, oh. but yeah, uh, but again, the performances in this were fantastic. Margot, yeah. Margot Robbie was fantastic. Um, Kate McKinnon. Yeah. I was really, really impressed with her. Mm -hmm. And really surprised how kind of a nice, subdued, very realistic yeah. uh, performance she gave. But at the yeah, same there we go. time, Makeup still and hair very styling. Kate McKinnon. Yeah, but not like the over the top, too much that she can sometimes do kind of thing. So I do mm -hmm. appreciate that. But yeah, it did have makeup. And uh, good, this at least tells me what movies the songs are from because I was curious about something else that has nothing to do with that. The, well, the, actually, the closing song, uh, the song during the closing credits, I really dug. I the did music too. In, a lot of the music in the rest of the movie is kind of like, what is this weird vocal crap going on? I don't know. I kind of was digging it. I was kind of digging it. And I know I, I should take a lot of shit in the comments, uh, deservedly so, because I get frustrated when you're looking up things on your phone because I don't yeah. feel like you're engaging, and here I am doing it too. I am a hypocrite. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but I was just double-checking all the Oscars, and now I'm done. So okay. so it is just those two, the two performances and makeup. Okay. Um, so three. Yeah, well, that's what I'm sorry. That's what I meant. Just um, yeah. <laughs> Are those two actors? I was thinking. Per, and the no, makeup. I was thinking perform for performance and okay. makeup. It just Anywho. happens. There's two categories of performance. That's why my brain went for two. Uh, but yeah, pacing was great. Um, mm -hmm. Just the way the story worked, I really liked. You know, they did the way really they good job things. of bouncing back and forth between mm -hmm. various characters. Yeah, and they wove it all together with mm -hmm. the timeline and everything, and they kept yeah. you aware of what's going on. And, and that's the thing where I'm sitting here going like, oh yeah, this was all going down during... The uh, presidential the uh, debates, the Republican debates and stuff, which they definitely got yeah. into. And I think they, again... Uh, yeah. The way they weaved real stuff and fake stuff, um, I thought a lot of that worked incredibly well. Yeah. I was really happy with how a lot of that turned out. Um... But yeah, and like the set designs, I know mm -hmm. apparently that was a big deal. Like the whole production design of really getting the offices to look as accurate as they possibly could. Mm -hmm. um, that felt very real, you know, even just like little, there was one sign, I guess I shouldn't say here, but there was one sign specifically that stood out to me at yeah. one moment that I was like, oh, that's that seems like the kind of thing you would have in a workplace like this. Um, and again, I, I don't watch a lot of Fox News, but I'm well enough aware of a lot of the characters. The, I guess more, uh, ger not I don't want to say journalists. Uh, there's show personalities. Show personalities, yeah. More of the opinion piece people. Um, there's a lot of that stuff in there. And, heads. Yeah, and they get a lot of those characters uh, yeah. very, very interestingly accurate. But in a way that does, it doesn't paint anybody really as cartoons. Yeah. You know, it's not caricatures. Like it is, it does feel like the real versions. Julie, I, I still can't decide if the guy who they got for Giuliani works for me or not. Yeah, I don't, and I don't even want to say it here because it's, it, 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 it's, yeah, it's just because you're going like, yeah, and I was like, oh my god, okay, this works for me. We'll talk about that in spoilers for sure, but I mean, I liked what little we got. But again, yeah. some of it is, most of the characters, I feel they did go for very accurate representations. Mm -hmm. But then a couple of the characters, they went more for, hey, let's just get this awesome actor and let them make their own performance of it, like yeah. a John Lithgow, or in this case, that person. Mm -hmm. uh, and or where we are so Murdoch. familiar with the real person. Yeah, or Murdoch. Uh, we are so familiar with the real people, it's a little yeah. bit harder, you know, to to, to fathom. But but um, I did kind of like it, and I like seeing a lot of the inner workings of some of the news stuff. And I like that, even though the acts, you know, Roger Ailes uh, was guilty of were horrible fucking things. I like that they didn't do it in a way where it's like just completely painting him like monstrously. Like it wasn't really. Well, well that's it. Was like yeah, I was a little surprised when 
starting out is just like what's the problem? Yeah, and like even his toughness, like the way he just wouldn't take shit and like he yeah. would throw shit at people, like even that didn't feel monstrous. Like it yeah. felt real and it's like high pressure situations, big time players, like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna coddle your feelings kind of shit. And mm -hmm. I kind of appreciated how they played that. Yeah. Um but, no idea how much of that's real, but but, <laughs> but you know, it's one of those things you start digging a little and yeah, the facade starts cracking away. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then a um, particular moment with Margot Robbie when she starts realizing the way things are, that was pretty hard. Because um, mm -hmm. honestly, too, and it was an interesting thing as a cisgender straight white male who has a thing for Margot Robbie, um, <laughs> when part of that is kind of very sexy. And then you're like, but I shouldn't be aroused by this, especially when you see her emotional reaction. It's like, oh yeah, no, I'm not aroused by this at all. But it's like... I I hope not. No, no, certainly not. I mean, once you, you know, I mean, if you just take just the initial visual mm -hmm. without the context of everything, that's when like the subconscious mm -hmm. man, caveman brain is like, ooh. <laughs> and that's when like the conscious brain is like, dude, the context of what's going on here, no, not okay. And then, you know, you kind of reveal her emotion yeah. about it and it's like, oh yeah, no, I, I feel like shit as I should. You know, even kind of yeah. knowing. I'm just saying, she is a very beautiful woman and it was very, you know, there's, there is some, because of the context, there is yeah. a lot of eye candy going on. Yeah, you know, so she's a wonderful actress. I yeah. mean, she she like, has a very expressive face. Yeah, um, but I will say, I don't know if it's just her American accent, because there's more than one occasion I went, Harley. Yeah, well, it doesn't help. They're playing like the Birds of Prey trailers before the thing <laughs> yeah, too, true. so um, that does add into it. But no, she was really good. Nicole Kidman was really great in this too. Mm -hmm. um, I found her to be very interesting. Now, I'm not as familiar with the personality she was playing. Megan Kelly? No, no, no. No, that was, that was, that uh, was Shirley. Grace. Gretchen? Gretchen, yeah, Gretchen. Yeah, this is like, so. I'm with I'm, you. It's I'm like not, a little so before... again, I'm not sure if, if how good the makeup job is because, again, I don't. Me Megan Kelly, I've seen tons of. Well, and that's so, what I, I would agree with you there too, because I think like I still saw Nicole Kidman in there, mm -hmm. whereas with Charlize Theron, I did not see Charlize Theron. Mm -hmm. I saw Megyn Kelly. They nailed the makeup for her yeah. and her performance, her voice acting, everything about that. She just killed it. So I can totally see why she's nominated. Yeah. And again, I think Margot Robbie, I think, is very uh, welcomely nominated too. But as we were discussing, without getting too spoilery, um, I've only seen her and Scarlett Johansson and Jojo Rabbit as far as supporting actress goes. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to edge it to ScarJo just a little bit because I feel like she had something different to do. Whereas I, and I know this is a weird reason to mark against somebody for Margot because she did it phenomenally. Yeah. But I feel like I've seen her do that kind of stuff a handful of times before. So it's not like I got something I new out of it. I'm not sure what all I've actually seen her in outside of Suicide Squad. Uh, well, she was really great as Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, even though she didn't have a lot of dialogue, oh, but she right. did physically I very well. That. I haven't seen The Wolf of Wall Street yet, She's but she's supposed to be great feet. in that. Um, no. Did she even do feet in that? I don't know if yes. she did. Did she do feet? At the yeah. movie theater. Yeah, you're right. The movie theater feet, yeah. I need, I'm kind of wanting to rewatch that. It's been a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, um, I, I just had to say No, that. you're fine. And now you, oh, you got me. Oh, no. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it. <laughs> But it's because it's Margot Robbie and she's, I know, yeah, I know. Um, but again, I, I can continue talking while I do it, so. Oh, really? Go yeah, ahead. I am continuing talking about it. Talk so, about something of substance. All right, well, uh, so what else is in the movie then? Um, I, you didn't necessarily care that much for the music, but I quite enjoyed the well, music. Well, I said, it was just, it seemed, when I noticed it, it was like this, uh, oh, 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 oh. Well, I kind of like it, though, that it was. And I was like, the hell's this? Ooh, Mary Queen of Scots. She was fucking. Did oh, you get around to nope, watch that? I did not watch she that. She was one. great in that. Terminal. She was really good in. Didn't see I'm Peter Rabbit. Didn't see Terminal. Christopher Robin. Who was she in Christopher Robin? I don't remember her in that. I Tanya. Did, did you see, see that? Oh my God. Suicide Squad. Legend of Tarzan. She was pretty damn good in that. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Didn't see the Big Short yet. Focus. There's a lot I have Anywho. not seen. Um. But no, I just thought like, particularly in that elevator, it was the elevator scene that you see in that, you, that was that first preview. Which trailer. is great in context of the movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sitting here going like, I'm listening to the, 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 the music and I'm like, this is such a weird choice for this scene. because are all it's, descending into hell. It, it, well, it doesn't feel particularly oh, spoilers. suspenseful or any of the emotions that I would connect uh -huh. to that scene. It felt a little too happy. 
I don't know. For me, it, it kind of. I mean, weird I, and happy. I think the movie has a bit of a sadistic, dark humor to its storytelling. Because I, I, it under, I believe see, it understands it the absurdity me, of what it's doing. If it was doing. me, it would have been music playing in that damn elevator. Yeah, but you just want to put "Girl from Ipanema" in every scene of I everything do. ever. <laughs> And there it is. All right, I think we should probably move on to spoilers okay. though, because honestly, this is kind of long for a no spoiler. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. Over 15. I think we're getting borderline spoilers anyway. Yeah. So all right. So anyways, if you haven't seen Bombshell, go see it. It's absolutely worth seeing, especially if you can catch it before Oscars. Um, you know, because again, I like to point this out. Where as usual, we are doing our Oscar live stream February 9th. We'll be live streaming our reactions. We of course legally can't show you the Oscars. But, you know, if you want to see us react and see the categories as they happen, we also like to do predictions. You know, I think we'll do that again. We usually Mike prints off a list and we all predict what we want to win, what's going to win, and see who uh, gets that going on. You know, kind of like an Oscar pool kind of thing. So definitely come check that out. And I'm doing my damnedest to see absolutely as much of everything as I possibly can. I think there's going to be a couple of things I'm just not going to get access to. Mm. But um, but I'm, I'm going to get there. Uh, so do all that. Click the thumbs up button. Give us the good old thumb of encouragement as we do love to be encouraged. Check out the Stardust app. Check out my Patreon by looking up the Eric Butts using links in the description below. Comments. Now we're going to get out of here. We're going to go talk some spoilers and watch some more stuff. Because I get to watch Bad Boys 2 after all this. <laughs> um, I want to watch a documentary, but I need to watch Bad Boys 2. I need I, to go to bed. I know. And we got cheesecake to go eat. <laughs> Which you almost got to see us eat. Uh, but we're going to get out of here and do all that. And I'll see you all later.